quick walk around of my recently finished conversion standard bridge port BR2J head once upon a time now got a 3 horsepower motor up top VFD controlled 700 watt AC servo on the X and Y 2 to 1 belt drive that one's lurking under there 400 watt servo on the Z drive 2 to 1 again all screws everywhere, drives off the front of the quill, Bob Buster minimum level coolant, homemade control panel, lots of buttons and lamps, stainless keyboard from a kiosk, Mac free of course, seems to be what everyone uses, works well, we've also got a dual purpose sub table for delicate jobs using an auxiliary spindle which is sitting there 2.2 kilowatt water cooled sit spindle motor clamps on the front of the quill separate profile in Mac 3 keeps the table from going into the vise and various other areas control cabinet water cooling for the mini mill it's got a little pump inside it in the control cabinet we've got the servos at the top, XYZ, main spindle VFD, auxiliary VFD, CS Labs controller, CS Labs encoder module for the tool height setter which is sitting on the wall, I'll show you that in a minute, and also the motor spindle encoder worn out Dell PC sitting at the bottom, Ethernet connection, various relays, safety contacts, power control, spaghetti at the bottom, braking resistor for the main motor, and the tool height setter sits here. You can put tools in it measure them and you get the reading on the screen as a separate axis push the set button and it loads it straight into the tool table nice and quick you can change tools while running if you haven't got enough collets simply bung another tool in label it and away you go works perfectly loads of help from the people on the Mac 3 forum and it's working lovely